The following contest is an extreme... The Beast! Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Good offense from Drew McIntyre. And he hits him with the boot. Nothing pretty about that elbow. Just driven down with such power, guys. He goes for the cover. Lesnar easily powers out. Gonna take more than that. I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Chosen One. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most incredible German. Establishing dominance. That one definitely hurt, Cole. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Oh, what a headbutt. But is it enough to end it? Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. He wants no part of the outside. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think... McIntyre looking to end this. Nobody takes to the skies quite like him. Here's the cover. This battle's not over yet. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Well, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which of course later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. 
Drew McIntyre got him there. When this guy's on, look out. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning. The champion into the cover. And McIntyre with a quick kick out. Drew McIntyre has chosen to kick out here. Submission time. Doesn't appear to be locked in very well. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Air Raid Siren. I don't know how you survive that. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. No, he kicks out at two. The Beast won't stay down. Lesnar there. Lesnar looking to fly. Gets out of the way of that one. Drew McIntyre is getting ready. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Business. This is his up. Got the shoulders down. Two. Three. Drew McIntyre gets the win. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history.